What's up, everybody? It's Dom Universe. Now, I want to talk about an important topic today. Well, it's not that important to me, but I keep getting asked to talk about this. Now, today, I want to I want to spread some awareness on artificial intelligence. Now, we, as y'all know, we live in a fucking... It's like life is man-made or becoming more and more man-made. And the more and more you wake up, life starts to become all dreamy. It's, you get to see that you start to see the illusion. Some people see this illusion when they take psychedelics. That could be ayahuasca, uh, LSD, fucking uh, shrooms, DMT, sometimes marijuana. Now, when you do these, you can sometimes, sometimes with marijuana, depending on how you use it. But when we talking about the other psychedelics that I just named, when you take these, you can see through the matrix. You start to, and I quote, hallucinate. See, they call it hallucination, right? They think it's your mind playing tricks on you. But you got to think, what would make you hallucinate? Right? What? Why would these images and these things be there? Where would they come from? They they are there. When you when you wake up and you using or or you're using a fucking psychedelic, you get to see a fucking grid in the sky, a fucking grid in the sky, it's lines crossing each other. You are going to see that shit. You gonna start seeing lines everywhere. You gonna start to be able to manipulate matter. You gonna start to look at shit different, and you gonna realize that none of this shit, none of this shit is solid. <laughs> none of this shit is solid. It's not. It's just vibrating at a high frequency type shit. Uh, that being said, we all meant, we all here to, we gotta, all we gotta do is lift the veil off of our fucking eyes. Or our, mainly our pineal gland. First eye, third eye. We gotta lift the, the veil of blindness off of it. So that means people need to stop consuming fluoride and artificial food, GMO food. Uh, fucking meat, ETC. That is not real food. Food is the food that grow from the planet because it's good for your soul. I hope you know you slow, you slowly killing your soul when you eat in like low vibrational food, especially food like food with no color, with AKA meat is what I'm talking about mainly. But really, since if you think about it, vegetables and fruit are colorful, right? When you have to eat colorful foods because the colorful foods affect your chakras. And we all know the chakras apply to a color on the the rainbow spectrum. The root chakra is red. The sacral chakra is orange. The solar plexus is yellow. The heart chakra is green. The throat chakra is blue. The pineal gland is indigo. And the fucking crown chakra is violet. So that's R-O-Y-G. B-I-V, Roy G B. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Seven colors on the spectrum. But I want y'all to know humans are at the beginning of extinction. We are at the beginning. The plan is to depopulate the fucking planet. The plan is to depopulate to the, the planet to a small enough population to be able to control a one world government. So you see they doing all this bullshit fake artificial shootings fake shootings fake shootings so that they can enforce gun law on us they're the ones doing the shootings but coming and acting like we're doing the shootings so that they can take the guns without guns how are we going to uh, how are we going to fend for ourselves how are we going to protect our family do you see do you do you see how many fucking people go missing and die a year? And you talking about taking guns? People are dying by the millions. People are dying by the millions and black people are dying the fastest. But but anyway, we got things like artificial disasters. We got we got they have a fucking weather machine called HARP, H-A-A-R-P. I know more and more people starting to become aware of weather control. They are, they have the ability to control motherfucking weather. Thunder is supposed to start from the ground, not the sky. I want y'all to know that. 
So if you were to see the source of thunder, you're going to see it start at the ground. Electromagnetism. The earth has an electromagnetic field. The, the fucking thunder we see that's artificial. Them fucking clouds are fake. They have fake clouds. If you look it up, you can see a fucking cloud machine. I'm about to trip over. <laughs> but yeah, they got fucking artificial clouds throwing up. In China wants to make a fucking moon. We lit. This is the world we live in. China wants to make a fucking moon. A second moon. We got fucking people making planets now. You, uh, Ter Terrence Howard want to create, recreate uh, Saturn. Now that I don't think would be the same as what Ch uh, China is doing. But you got China over here planning on shooting the fucking moon into the sky. And I think the moon is already finished being made. I may be wrong, but they want to shoot a second moon into the fucking. It's man-made. So that means it's GMO. It's GMO. We live in a fake as a fake ass world, and I'm trying to wake y'all up to this fake ass matrix we live in. The illusion. People gonna be saying this to you, and and I know people probably say it to you, or you hear it, or you read it, and you don't understand. You don't even know how to look. You don't even know how to step outside of the matrix and look at it. You just in the matrix, wondering what the fuck it is. Where am I? get me everything is gmo we got fake plants on this planet we got fake fucking food we got we got fake humans we they said they have robots dude they're making robots artificial intelligence but we have fucking robotic sex machines now sex sex dolls we have realistic looking sex dolls now so they trying to make women go go just when that I feel like the propaganda, the agenda behind that is for men to not have to be. It's for what happens when you get addicted to fucking the the sex doll. You are not gonna want to go get no pussy. You are going to want to keep fucking the sex doll because the sex doll will not leave you. The sex doll will not cheat on you. You can bust in the doll and not get it pregnant. Y'all gotta pay attention. Pay attention. They they give it all they giving us all this new shit. All this these apps, these new video games, all this new technology, the new iPhones every fucking year. They bring out two to three iPhones a year sometimes. Last year, what was it? Like three or four iPhones that came out? Anyway, I I know I grabbed one. I ain't even gonna hold you. I grabbed one. I have a uh, I have an XS Max. Not that that's important, but thousand dollar phone. Anyway, um, what this artificial intelligence and they they make these things and they 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 make situations in order for you to stay on. What they trying to do is keep you on social media when they make in cer certain situations, putting you in fear. But they want you to be in fear and be on the internet at the same time. If you can follow what I'm saying. They want you always on your phone, watching TV, playing video games, on your computer, laptop, whatever. They want you staring at a screen. You know why? Because, look, they trying to take your mind away from the real technology. The real technology. They trying to take your mind away from the real technology. When you come into motherfucking nature, you can get downloads of information. Remember, the computer is based off the fucking brain, the human mind. It, it was created based off the human mind. You have to remember that. The mind is a supercomputer. If you know how to use your mind or you know anything about how to use your mind differently and reprogramming it and using different parts of your mind, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You can reprogram your brain like a fucking supercomputer. Like a fucking computer, period. Your mind and nature is some of the most powerful technology that fucking exists. This and that is the real technology. We don't, we, there was a time where cell phones and internet didn't exist. You know that, right? What were people doing? Be, what were people doing? Before there was something, there was nothing. You have to remember that quote. Before there was, before there was anything, there was no thing. And I'm talking about existence, period. So, when they have, have all this bullshit, 
all this this news on the internet all these these this drama on the internet all this all these new apps and games they want you sucked into it so you don't be out here in nature see you know there was a time on tv what was it on cartoon network they had verb where they tell you to go out and play on nickelodeon they had nick uh that one thing i forgot what it's called go out and they had some shit i forgot how you say it but i know certain times sometimes every year they would put this thing on nickelodeon where you can't watch no no cartoon and it would say something about going outside and getting active and playing they don't do that shit no more they don't encourage you to go outside no more they want you in the house looking at a fucking computer instead of being in nature when we were children we climbed trees when we, we didn't have cell phones, we climbed motherfucking trees. Do you know that? We went to the beach. We stayed outside. We stayed in the fucking sun with Horace. We stayed under the sun. We live in an artificial world. They want, eventually, since we got robots and shit, they gonna wanna try to take us out of business. They got Walmart using, that is why at Walmart, Part of the reason at Walmart, every, all across the fucking planet, at Walmart, you have hella empty aisles where nobody, they're out of service. They're out of, why the fuck are all these aisles out of service? This is why nobody be able to get it. Where the fuck? All these people applying to fucking Walmart and y'all don't got nobody in these fucking aisles. But you got like, what, three to five aisles over here working. But it's like 10 of them over here not working with nobody there they have a fucking checkout now and and it's some it's we got siri we got fucking alexa we got we got we got the iphone about to be able to connect to cars they want us to be artificial they want our life to be artificial and eventually they gonna want to turn us to fucking artificial uh people robots can't feel robots aren't don't have much awareness but they they can put your fucking conscience into a robot or they may even want to make you have a robot on some cyborg from Team Titans type shit. All this technology and shit we got out here, it's nothing new. You got to remember, nothing new under the sun. Our fucking ancestors, the technology we have today is nothing compared to what our ancestors have. And I hope you know, the government have some of our, of, of our fucking uh, ancestor technology. And they are sit, they are decades ahead of us in fucking technology they they have technology we haven't even seen we haven't even seen our fucking ancestors been making fucking uh our ancestors been making fucking ufos we are at a low conscience we used to be able to move shit with our mind we can't do that shit no more the way we used to i mean we can still do it with telekinesis but the way we used to do it be before we can't do that shit no more we are in hell we in the third dimension we fell down in consciousness for this shit and some of us you got to remember everybody not here for the same reason everybody not here to wake people up i mean because I, I see a lot of people who think that that's what they that's what they here for you gotta dig you gotta dig deep into into finding what your purpose is because this what i'm doing is not for everybody i'm telling you right now and, and, and another thing about that, since I'm getting to the end of this video, I want people to stop asking me things like, oh, do you, are you scared the government is going to, and shit like that. Are you scared the government is going to say something about my video, some shit like that? It, you know, I'm not. And I'm going to keep posting, even if they were to say something. But what I'm telling you is, stop talking to me about is the am i scared the government gonna do something to me i am protected you have to remember that i'm an indigo for a reason indigos are sent here to wake people up my aura is indigo this is what my purpose is most people purpose are are here are just to to raise the vibration by doing uh doing their talent People raise the vibration of the planet with music. People raise the vibration uh, of the of the fucking planet with comedy. Get a camera. But what I'm saying is stop asking me that because what you're doing is 
when you when you thinking like that, what you doing is creating a reality where I do get harassed by the government. And you're not I've had more than I've had a few people say that and ask me that. So that means it's more than one person who has had that mindset. So you got to remember your thoughts are energy. What you put energy to into grows. So a few people have had the thought of me being harassed by the government. So what y'all doing is only strengthening that reality. Y'all making it more possible. But even still, I'm not worried about no shit like that. I already didn't got messaged by a nigga in the Illuminati. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? I'm out to keep making videos. Like, who the... Who the but yeah, we paying for food and gas. I hope y'all know gas is suppo was supposed to be replaced by fucking um water. The, I forgot the guy's name, but the guy who who made uh he was making an automobile that was able to run off of water, and he got killed. First he got told no, I don't think he got killed. First he got told to stop, and then I think he got killed. But I know. Listen. We would be driving cars running off of motherfucking water right now. But we got to pay for fucking clean water. We have to pay for fucking electricity and shit like that. We got to pay for food. We got to pay for fucking gas. We got to pay for, for... We the only species on this planet that got to pay to live. Eventually, they are going to charge us for fucking oxygen. Eventually, they're going to want to make this fucking ro this realm 2D. They're going to want to make this realm solo dimensional. I hope y'all know right now we are under the most demining energy this planet has ever been under in history. I want y'all to know that. They already have fucking robots right now that are working. You watch movies. You watch movies. They use robots. To make fucking monsters and shit. They use robots to make fucking certain types of creatures in movies. And you don't believe robots can replace humans? You don't think that? They already got sex dials. They all you saw the movie X Men Mechana or Mechana, right? X Mechana, right? You saw that you saw that uh that robot, I forgot the robot's name. Fuck the robot, but she was able to talk back to the person. Just like Siri, right? And I hope y'all know another thing about these phones is we when we signed up for these terms and uh, conditions, when we got our iPhones and shit, they able to listen to us through our fucking mic and see us through our camera and shit like that. I learned this years ago, but I never give a, I get I didn't give a fuck and I still don't. But me, what I'm saying that to say. Like I said once, when you say certain shit, you when you say certain shit, they can hear it and they may put what you said on, on uh you may go on the internet and see an ad about something you just said. That's not always synchronicity. They be listening to us, they might put an ad on Instagram or fucking Twitter of something they heard you say through the fucking microphone. I've had that happen to me many times and many other people have too. I thought I was the only person that was experiencing it a few months ago. Then I saw a tweet on Twitter about it. Then then I saw a video about it recently. They hear us through these fucking phones. They got fucking fingerprint on these phones. They got face scanning on these on these fucking phones. We live in a fake ass planet. Do you remember the caucasoids I talked about? Caucasoids were fucking man-made. You got to remember that. Caucasoids were genetically spliced just like the GMO food is genetically spliced. Anything genetically spliced, I ain't going to say anything because the gods used genetic splicing, but anything genetic spli genetically spliced by man is man-made. Right? A comedic scientist named Yakub created the first Caucasoid. You can look it up. He spliced his DNA. And, and, and if you don't believe in genetic splicing, go look at what China and Japan are about to do. Go look at what Japan and uh, China about to do. About to genetically splice fucking humans with animals. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave you all with that.
Dom Universe taking off. Like, subscribe. I love you all. Till death and beyond. Peace.